Shalom and good day all, this is Tehillim29 back again to do another Vault Review. Well, in this Vault Review we are covering Brian Michael Bendis' story of Jinx connected to Jinx World. I must admit, this story was really interesting and there were about two volumes put in the one in this, so you're looking at around roughly... 10 issues altogether, maybe even 11, if you include the additional stuff at the end. Uh, in this story, we follow, or in this, we follow the story of Jinx, to which we also learn that the character Jinx is also from a bit of a Jewish background. Nothing wrong with that. Um, really enjoyed that because you actually saw the person question some things about their own belief and also what certain things are. Now, with this story, was the art in it good? Um, in a number of places it was pretty consistent, so in that it was really good. But there were also some small inconsistent areas as well. Not that it ruined the story, but it did in turn bring more light in certain areas of the story. Um, well, taking account, you also learn something in reference to how Jinx is connected to Goldfish, even though Jinx made her first appearance in Goldfish. My only small criticism um, in this, especially in the story, is that some of the things felt a little bit repetitive. Not too repetitive, but a little bit repetitive. Just in certain areas. And if I were to say something, uh, something a little bit more in regards to this, I think Jinx itself would be a better live action than maybe an animated, as is something that Brian Michael Bendis sort of puts in the end of this book um, with additional details that he shared about the creation of the story, which I really liked. I liked that he brought that in this story. Um, also, you get to follow Jinx through like some of the daily things. And this really feels more like the build-up to the Murder Inc. universe. Um, to anyone who's read Ryan Michael Bentis' um, Murder Inc. titles, such as U um, the United States of Murder Inc., then you've got USA versus Murder Inc. There are just some art things in here that really make this story stand out and work out for the Murder, Inc. In, re in regards to the Jinx world. And I'll, sh and I'll show you with the art in here. With the way how these notes are used uh, within this graphic novel, you can see its connection as to why I think that this really would work well in connecting with the Murder, Inc. universe. But the problem is, as I brought up before, is that it does get slightly repetitive. And this scene does get repeated again um, in the next volume of this Jinx World omnibus. And it really doesn't help the story that much. Uh, it would have been better if he slightly changed the scene a little bit more.
Now, this is something small which Brian Michael Bendis put in here, giving us a little bit more of a backstory around the character of Jinx. And also some of the people that she's met. Now, this is why I also think that this story would be better live action than, say, Powers live action. Just because of how it's used and pictures like this within the story. I think it would work better. Um, this is why I think Powers by Brian Michael Bendis would be better off as an animated series because it was done in more like a cartoon type format where with something like Jinx where it does also use real models or real people modeling for Brian Michael Bendis's characters And also Goldfish, that would be better live action. Torso, better live action. United States versus Murdering, eh, it could probably work better, maybe if it was done cartoon form. Um, similar to... You could probably... Pull this story off in like a Scanner Darkly format, um, where Keanu Reeves starred in it, but more so apply it to the story of Jinx World. So, my rating for the cover and the art, you know, they're done, they're both done by Brian Michael Bendis, and also taking in account that you it is a part of the Jinx World universe. A 7.8 out of 10. Now for the story. Do we get cast of characters? Yes we do get cast of characters. Um, I'm going to have to ignore the comic reference side of things. Because this story actually. Ha um, not only does it have. The story around Jinx, it also has other little stories included. And I think those other little stories that are included help make the story around this character better. Um, not actually worse, but I think it does make it better. Do we get a time frame as to when some of these events happen? Not really, but there are some wonderful scenes in here that I do like. Um... And that's where it sort of makes up for it in the story. So, for the story rating. Also, can't forget locations. Um, there were some locations mentioned in this, but it wasn't done to excess it probably wouldn't have hurt to include it a little bit more but what was in the story was good in the story so an 8 out of 10 from me so please don't forget to like share subscribe hit the notification bell and as i'm working on getting a goal up to 150 subs I'd like to reward my subscribers by doing my first Reborn video, which covers the first four volumes. Until then, let's keep it colourful. And if you've now made it to the end of this video, you are awesome.